Hello guys, it's me, Phasmatodia. Um, uh, I'm back now. I was gone for a bit because um, I have other things to do than YouTube. But I won't be quitting anytime soon, so don't worry. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to make a um, very, like, the basics, like the very, very basics of a Geometry Dash game. Like an auto-scroller. Uh, like a jumping auto-scroller. They are very simple. So uh, what we know, um, so yeah, I'm on Click Team Developer. I don't think this is gonna work on the free version. No, it doesn't because of the you need a physics engine. So uh, g just get like a standard edition or the developer edition, and you'll be set. Um, anyways, so let's start a new one. Here's just the default. Um, so what you wanna do at first? You can't just have this. You're gonna have to make it longer. Uh, I'll recommend starting it with like three thousand. There. So now you can see there's more than just what we see in the beginning. So the first thing we want to add is a physics engine. I'll recommend using the platform movement object. Um, we'll, we'll work with this later. Um, okay, so then we want to add our main character, who's uh, going to be an active. And let's edit him. Let's make him look more uh, fancy. So let's add uh, some... Uh, something like this. Also, sorry in advance for my drawing. My drawing is really bad. But I'll try to make it look decent. Yeah, that's terrifying. Bucket tool. Yeah, that's that's good enough. So we can ha let's put him uh, here. Then we want to add some obstacles. So we we'll go into uh, um, uh, we're gonna add an object which is gonna be a backdrop. We'll put it here, and then uh, we're gonna edit it. And uh, this doesn't have this is gonna be like the ground and stuff like that. So we don't have to make it very detailed. Um, so, and then we want to kind of like build a level. Now, this is the fun part. Um, we can select the pencil tool and then the backdrop, and then we can draw a stage. Yeah, this is this is a lot of fun. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> I'll, I'll add one more. So then we can kind of like build build a stage, I guess. Um, uh, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, that, that's that's good enough. Uh, now we're, we're gonna make it work. Like the, the little guy here, I gotta get gotta get moving. So the first thing we're gonna do is sec select the backdrop, and you have to make it an obstacle and obstacle type. Then you go into event editor or list editor. Both work, but I like to use the event editor. Then we'll go into new condition, and that is start of frame. And then, um, uh, we're gonna do um, set object, and then this. So this is gonna be our player. You gotta do this. This is important. Then we're gonna do so that um, uh, you uh, always walk because it's an auto scroller. Um, user input is ho um, users holding right input key, so it's an always. So it always goes right. Then. Um, uh, we want to make a jump feature, and that's going to be when someone left clicks. But also, since we don't want them just spamming and they can literally fly over the map, we can do insert, then um, a condition on the physics engine, um, object states, and object is standing on the ground, so it only works when you're standing on the ground. Um, and then you will actually jump. S um, uh, so yeah, um, uh, now you want to jump. Now we're gonna make it so that the floor works. I haven't even done that. I just realized that is collision. Um, um, uh, we'll do collision testing. Test for obstacle overlap, and insert. Um, collisions. Overlapping a backdrop. Sorry. Um, so, um, then we want to make it so that um, 
it, it, rec it verifies it as a ground, it recognizes it. Oh, but it does overlap with an obstacle. So now, basically, it's done, it, it will move, but there's only one thing left, and that is, you. so if you have played Geometry Dash, you know the frame centers on the player, not the map, so we gotta do that. So on the always, we also wanna put um, here, and then scrollings, and then center window and frame, and click on our little guy here. Okay, let, um, uh, let's try it out. Okay, so I think you realize now that it's absolutely, absolutely slow. Like this, it's ungodly. Um, so uh, we can change the speed here. I'll put it as four hundred. Oh yeah, that's much better. Um, but also we can also change the gravity. So we can do gravity, and we'll make it half of it, like fifteen. Yeah, that's a that's a good jump. That's what I call a good jump. We, yeah. So this is the this was the very basics of a geometry dash game. Remember, just the very basics. Like he doesn't he's immortal and there's no ending. But yeah, if if you guys want more of a in devil look, um, comment and I'll make another video on this. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, um, and found it useful, um, so uh, um, uh, comment if you want more Click Team Fusion or just more Geometry Dash, and I'll see you next time, uh, I'm Fast Matodi and thank you for watching, bye.